Hey my people, how you doing? I hope you're having a damn good day. Welcome back to the channel. And yeah, I mean, I, I haven't done this in a while, but we're going to be doing a tactics video and the Mauricio Pochettino tactics video for Chelsea for next season. Now, this is what I think is going to happen. Of course, he has been away from the Premier League for a little while. He's been in France. He's won the French League, at least. Um, but yeah, so... He, he did use different tactics to this, but I've gone off of what he did at Tottenham Hotspur, um, which is a bit weird that Spurs' most famous manager is now at Chelsea. But anyway, point being, um, we're going to go with this team right here. It's, um, the formation is a strange one, but not, not a bad one. It's the, the current 4-2-3-1 narrow, but you're going to convert the, the, the left attacking midfielder and the right attacking midfielder to a left and right wing and then what you're going to do is you're also going to push up the wing backs um, quite high up the field you need that in order to board, in order to build a platform excuse me um, for the attacks and so on um, so yes yeah, so you're going to push them quite up high up the field left wing back right wing back Reese James and Chilwell of course you've also got Cooper Rea um, but yes yeah, so this is the team right here I've gone with the Bamiyang of course that could be Lukaku next season we don't know who Pochettino is going to bring in so that that will be interesting you do need a, a good quality strike in order to function with this team um, and you'll see in the gameplay I did kind of struggle because Aubameyang really doesn't have the qualities needed for this team really so we've gone with Aubameyang, Mount, Sterling, Maduake, Maduake I don't know why I mispronounced that. Kante, Fernandez, Chilwell, Benishile, Fafana, Rhys James as the captain, of course. And then we've got Kepa. On the bench, we've got Felix, that could be in Kunku next season. But Mudrik, Havertz, Kovacic, Mendy, Silva, Kukurea, of course, Gallagher, Kulabali, so on on the bench, or on the reserves, I should say. Um, but yes, that is the team. So let's hop into the tactics. And um, off the bat, Prochettino at Spurs anyway, he loved, I, I, I'd say at Spurs because like, I didn't really watch anything that he did at PSG uh, up until like the Champions League where they were more times than not fail. So yeah, I didn't really watch that. But at Spurs, um, very, very high pressing team, always running off the ball, always making sure that the opposition has a load of pressure on them. So that's why we've gone with constant pressure. Now, of course, I always say this, when you have constant pressure on your your team the, the stamina is absolutely shot to to shit really so make sure that if you are using these tactics in a career mode or, or, or something like that make sure that you are consistently rotating your team and to be honest chelsea have got a fairly good squad here i mean maybe one or two other players getting rid of a few players would help but Chelsea have quite a big squad and one that can manage with these tactics. So constant pressures on. We've got width applied at 20. So you want to try and keep it narrow, even though your wing backs are quite wide as like naturally wide. But keeping it slightly narrow will bring them in a little bit more. And you'll see the, the opposition will try and, and play out wide. And you've got two strong center backs along with quick agile wing backs that can help stop crosses and so on. Um, as for depth, we've got it set on 80. Of course, for the for the better teams, drop a, a little bit, maybe drop it to a 65. But for the lesser teams, like maybe a Southampton or something like that, put it on 90. I've gone with a happy medium here of 80, but again, you can drop it or increase it. This is always a, a very dependent thing. Like it depends on the team you're facing. So again, make, make sure that you are smart when you select how high or low you want your team to play. Of course, the, the line does change um, the way the team plays. So keep in mind, if you drop it, you know, your team's not going to be um, implementing a counter press. It's not going to be making sure that the, the opposition is squeezed into their own box, into their own half, you know? So make sure that, that you keep that in mind as well. And when you have the ball in possession, you don't lose it in risky areas. As for offensive play, we've got to sit on slow build-up and position. Now, you can have it on forward runs as well. It does allow the likes of Aubameyang and so on to get into the box um, a fair bit more, or maybe even a Lukaku. Um, but I have it on position because I like the idea of Enzo Fernandez dominating play, um, spraying little passes to potentially a Ben Chilwell or a Rhys James, or even the front line of Aubameyang or Sterling or Madawake or whoever. 
So yes, possession is the one that I've gone with, but again, you can go with forward runs, depending on who you're playing, again. You know, if you, if you want to more or less know that you're not going to be creating as many clear-cut chances, probably put on forward runs, probably. As for the width, we've gone with 40. Um, again, your wing backs will be providing your, your width in, in the area, so get the ball to them, firing crosses into your big strong striker um, and your forwards, really. As for players in the box, you've got to set out six, so again, there should be your crosser that's on the outside and then two midfielders, potentially the other wing back or um, the two midfielders, possibly your, your number 10, of course, Mason Mount in this situation. He will be on the edge of the box, but your your three forwards, that is Sterling, Moduake, and Aubameyang in this situation, they'll be in the box waiting to hopefully hit home a, a goal. Um, as for corners and free kicks, we've got it set on four. Again, you have it set nicely up there so that you have more bodies in the box for either a corner or a free kick. As for the instructions, of course, Pochettino in the past, um, he has been bitten by this, but I think with a Kepa or potentially a new goalkeeper that Chelsea may bring in because i mean i've heard that they're going to sell kepper and and so on um and mainly of course i think with the correct player this could work like an absolute dream and of course if you are playing a high line you do need a sweeper keeper so of course the instructions are set on couple crosses and sweeper keeper as for your two center backs nothing has changed here maybe you could go with a step up for one of them but again because we're playing these guys so high and wide you don't really want these guys like messing around at all because the last thing you want is a three-on-one break and because maybe Fofana or Badashile has stepped up and they've missed the tackle and so on so again set these guys onto the regular normal things um so don't change anything and then move on to your your midfield um but before we get to our midfield our wing backs who are kind of playing as midfielders but they're wing backs of course um join the attack and overlap that is set for both Ben Chilwell as you can see, Ben Chilwell, those are his instructions, and of course, the captain, Reese James. Um, again, they will be providing you a width. They'll be the ones firing the crosses. You want Sterling and Maduake to get be in the box or take shots from just outside the box. You don't want them crossing the ball in that much. Of course, if a cross is there, don't be dumb. Just fire on the cross. But for the, the purpose of these set of tactics, this is what you should do, right? Um, so yes, and then we move on to Kante, of course, one of the best DMs in the world before he got injured. And he's going to kind of be the box-to-box-esque player. Um, so his instructions are tight marking, stay back while attacking, and then cover wing and stick to position. So only these two things you'll change. Of course, Kante is known for his stamina, so he is perfect for these instructions. Of course, he is getting a bit older, so you don't want him to, to actually Blow his stamina on one game and then, especially if you're playing career mode, the next game he's out. So, tight marking and stay back while attacking. It will provide a nice little shield for Fafana and Belshire when Rhys James and Chilwell bomb forward. Um, moving on to his midfield partner, we've got Enzo Fernandez. Very similar, but slightly different. Um, tight marking again, so he's going to have to like, put in some big time tackles. Drop between the defenders, so you want him to collect the ball from the defense, carry it into the midfield, progress it nicely. And, and move it along to either a Kante or a Mount or Stone and so on. Um, you want him to have aggressive interceptions, um, cover wing, and then I've gone and set the deep line playmaker because he is going to be the guy that connects the dots from your goalkeeper to your attacking line. He's going to be that guy for you. Of course, Inter Fernandez bought for 120 million. It's a lot of money, guys. That's a lot of money. But he's going to be that guy for Chelsea, and I think this role is perfect for him. Moving on forward, a man that might leave Chelsea, but for now he is going to stay in the team, is Mason Mount. We've got him set on comeback on defence. Of course, Pochettino always liked to try and, and have a, a sturdy base, a sturdy midfield to progress with for the attacking line. So Mason Mount is going to help you with that and he's also going to join your attack. Of course, he's going to get into the box. You can have him on stand the edge as well. Um, but again, for these tactics, get into the box is better. Of course, in the past, it was a daily Ali that would play off of the likes of Harry Kane or so on and he would be in the box if there are mounts so a mount and mount um set on get in the box really um stick to the position um yes because you have Sterling and Motowake playing off of him you kind of want him in the center of the midfield potentially finding little pockets of space for him to attack in um and then of course normal interceptions 
As for your wingers, they both sit on the same thing. Um, come back on defense, cut inside, get into the box. Those are the instructions for them. Again, cut inside is very simple. You want the space to be generated for your overlapping wing back. Um, so yes, that, that's what you want. And as you can see, a Sterling is set on the same and get in behind. Wait, did I make a mistake? I may have made a mistake. Get in behind for my to work here. Um, so yes, get in behind as well as a sort of thing. My bad, my bad. But you know what, we all, we're all humans, we make mistakes. So yes, there we go. And then as for Aubameyang, um, he was technically the replacement for Harry Kane in a way. Um, so not a very good representation, but nonetheless, Aubameyang, stay central, target player or target man, um, and then stay forward. He is your outlet ball. He is the guy that you want leading the, the attack, spearheading the attacking line. That is the guy that you want there. Maybe next season if somebody else, maybe even Nkunku plays there, who knows? I think if we're going off like the signings that have already been made, of course, um, Nkunku has been signed. I think he could play as a number 10, just behind, maybe as like a second striker to, hopefully they buy a striker, um, whoever they have up front, maybe it's Lukaku or use Lukaku in this situation. So it could be Nkunku playing just off of the shoulder of Lukaku and I think that could be quite a, a crazy tandem and one that could throw a lot of curveballs into the mix. So yes, that is my version of Maurizio Pochettino's tactics, especially for Chelsea. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Smash the like button down below. If you want to know how to make his face, please click that video right there, I don't know, somewhere, it's somewhere here, and um, you can create it for your career modes. Until the next time though guys, subscribe and I hope you have a damn great day. I'm out.